Hello, welcome to the Monday, October 11th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. He took a closer look at some of the recent exploit attempts against older Oracle WebLogic vulnerabilities. Back when these vulnerabilities were originally discovered, and some of them go back to 2017, but uh, there are also some from 2019 that are still being exploited. It was, of course, a big deal given the importance of many of these WebLogic systems. By now, I question a little bit how successful these exploit attempts really are and there's really a lot of rehashing of old work here some of them attempt to do some obfuscation probably in order to throw off some basic signatures for example they're inserting long strings into the exploit string uh, this is sometimes also done uh, to make analysis more difficult where for example a request for the next stage which is typically a shell script has to come from a particular particular IP address and that uh, intermediate uh, directory what it looks like uh, in the URL to retrieve the string is specific for the particular source IP or may only exist uh, for a very short amount of time in order to prevent the uh, analysts from later downloading these scripts. But regardless, most likely you're just going to get another crypto coin miner in many of uh, these exploits. And well, this weekend, uh, Rob also wrote up a quick lesson on sorting on the command line in Unix. So basically your sort commands and uh, how to use them properly, in particular with IP addresses. I always see uh, people use, for example, the dash N option with IP addresses. Uh, shouldn't really do that. Uh, use capital V, which uh, works uh, much uh, better. Also, uh, I came uh, recently across a little uh, adventure, text adventure game that's uh, supposed to teach you uh, some of these basic uh, bash commands. Real neatly done. It's actually very simply done too, uh, but certainly educational and also somewhat entertaining if you're sort of into the old style uh, text adventure games. I'll add a link uh, to that uh, in the show notes as well. And apparently Telegram still has problems getting auto delete uh, to work properly. The idea of auto delete is that messages are automatically be deleted for all chat participants after a certain amount of time that the sender is allowed to specify. An ongoing problem here is that the messages are deleted from the chat itself, so they no longer show up in the application, but uh, associate artifacts like, for example, images and such uh, are still stored in cache. So pretty easy then uh, to recover at least uh, parts of these messages. The blog post that describes the latest iteration of this uh, vulnerability. There were a couple of uh, very similar issues in the past with Telegram is uh, written in Russian, so I'm mostly uh, relying here on a decent uh, Google uh, Translate version of it, but apparently also the behavior isn't uh, always quite reproducible, where in particular in group chats, it may be gone for some users from the cache, but not for all users. And it also appears to remain difficult uh, to interact uh, with Telegram's security team in order to report problems like this. And between now and the end of the year, depending on uh, how you're exactly uh, downloading your Microsoft software, you may find that Excel 4.0 macros are finally disabled by default. These macros uh, were introduced uh, back in the 90s and about 30 years ago, I think Excel 5 uh, came out and uh, with that, uh, Visual Basic for Applications was introduced, but Microsoft never really sort of got around to completely disable Excel 4.0 macros by default and they have been heavily abused. We have covered them at least sort of once a month or so did he or uh, one of our other handlers is uh, discussing some malware that does use Excel for macros. So this will now be the default setting. Again, this will be rolled out across the different uh, channels, uh, 
between basically now and the end of the year, uh, sort of mid-December for the monthly enterprise channel, for example, as the default setting. Uh, if you don't want to wait, uh, and uh, hopefully you have already done that, you can also uh, just simply disable these Excel 4 macros yourself. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.